Happy is a Python package management tool. It only needs one line command to install it. After installation, enter PIP3-V to view the version number. This video aims at teaching us how to install Python 3.6. First, open a terminal. There isn't any Python in your computer at this time. Use this command to add Python source into depth source. We are able to obtain the latest software package through this command. Then the Python 3.6 can be installed. At the time when it is completed, we type Python 3 in the terminal and we can see the version of Python 3 and get into REPL of Python. It means installation is successful. This video shows how to install TensorFlow. Users can install the GPU version according to their own needs. The method is similar. You can use specific parameter to point to a repository URL to accelerate the progress. Try to import after installation is completed. We find something wrong happens. The reason is that the NumPy version is too new. Ungrade it. And import it again. Without any problem, TensorFlow installation is completed. This video demonstrates the installation of TensorFlow GPU version. First, install CUDA in the current folder. We provide the CUDA installation package under the following commands. Keep raising the space key to the end of the button, and then accept the terms. Enter and to review to install the graphic driver if you have installed it before. Enter Y to install CUDA 9.02. Press Enter key to confirm CUDA default installation path. Enter Y or N to install or not install. Point it to the symbolic link of the path. Tap Y to install CUDA samples for later testing. Press Enter key to confirm CUDA samples. Default installation path. Enter the following commands. Open the file. Add the path at the end of the file. Save and execute it. Enter the following commands. CUDA installation is completed. Next is to install CUDNN. Also in the current folder, we also provide the CUDNN installation package and the following commands install CUDNN. About the details, please refer to the corresponding part of the user manual. The CUDNN installation is completed. Then we need to install TensorFlow below. Use tab to install under the specific folder. TensorFlow installation is successful. It installs TQDN by the way. This is the Python progress line. Bar library. This video briefly summarizes the practice of face recognition. First, the network model can use VTT, ResNet, MobileNet. 2801 chip only supports VTT. 2803 supports VTT and ResNet.
The loss function can choose a softmax improvement on softmax, which makes the feature more discriminative. You can also choose AM softmax, which is a modified version of a softmax. In addition, LMC is also put forward to enhance the traditional softmax. Currently, we can provide the following deep learning frameworks. TensorFlow Cafe. Patosh is under development. TNNOT open source datasets include VDG Kasai. This dataset generally need a data wrongly process. If the user chooses to define their own dataset, it will take time and effort. Verify the dataset to choose from LFW, Megaface, etc. Users can conduct secondary development based on MDK or according to their own needs. The following is a demonstration of the effect. This video briefly summarizes the practice of human pulse estimation. First, these are the backbones can be chosen, VTT, ResNet, MobileNet, etc. Our 2801 chip can only suppose VTT. 2803 suppose VTT and ResNet. Currently available open source human pulse estimation includes DeeperCard, OpenPulse, etc. There are several datasets you can use MP2, MS, Coco. Currently, we support deep learning frameworks with TensorFlow and Cafe. PyTorch version is under development. Users can customize our example according to MDK. The process can be found in the training video below is effective of the demo. This video demonstrates the basic process of using our MDK training model, which can be divided into four steps. First, change the work directory to root directory of MDK in terminal. The first step is to train the complete floating point model. The command is as follows Net what specified backbone it is. Chip, what chip we use classes, how many classes we need. If you have any questions about the parameters, you can use the help option to view each details. The second step is to fine tune quantize the convolutional layer. Remember to set quant w to be true. The third step is to find you the quantized activi activation layer. Which can be divided into two steps. First, execute the set rule cap file. Then find you the module. Remember to set both quant w and quant act to be true. The final step is to find tune the model. And you need to turn the field switch on. If you find it doesn't converge, you can reduce the learning rate. After about four steps finished, the model training is completed. If you need to use the model on MPO chip, you need to convert the model. <laughs> 